G'day and welcome to Jojo Moto. Today we're going to be turning this super sports bike into a long distance touring bike with just one simple mod. Alright, so I've got an epically huge ride planned for, uh, I think it's tomorrow, we're heading off, depends on when this video comes out. Anyway, I've got a huge ride planned uh, and it's going to be like literally hours and hours and hours on the bike. Now, I'm not used to riding a super sports bike. It's super uncomfortable for me. I've ridden to work and back a couple of times, which is like a, I don't know, half an hour ride, and that's bad enough in itself. So, I've got this one simple mod that will hopefully turn this bike into the absolute perfect tourer. Uh, fingers crossed it's awesome. So, um, i just got to go and get something. Hmm, where is that thing? Ugh, what a mess. Um, You guys might have heard it before, I don't know. Anyway, I used to do huge adventure rides, 13, 14 hours a day on a bike. Um, sitting in the saddle, it just gets super duper painful. So the Airhawk makes a huge difference to those bikes. I don't know how it's going to go on the Jigster. I mean, these were big adventure bikes and whatever. So we'll see if it fits. Fingers crossed it does, and fingers crossed it makes a big difference. We're going to head out on a ride and test it out, see how it all goes. And I've got a few little cool things to tell you about this ride because it's going to be crazy exciting. So the first thing we've got to do is uh, fit this thing, and uh, I don't know, like that. While I'm here quickly fitting this up, I just want to tell you about what an airhawk is. It's got these little like uh, air pocket cushion sort of things in there, and you don't inflate it. It's not supposed to be sitting on an inflated thing. You're still like almost touching the seat with your bottom, but it inflates every other part. It just stops those um, sort of hard spots, the, the spots that are just digging in everywhere, like your tailbone and, and you know your bottom your bottom bits and whatever I guess that are sort of pressing on the seat really hard and so it's it's supposed to eliminate those and it definitely works they, they work I can I can tell you that much so the basics of mounting it uh, it's got these two little straps that go underneath the seat but the seats nowhere near big enough for this uh, huge airhawk seat so I don't know we'll get the seat off and we'll see what happens okay let's see what we can do here Wonder if that will do anything. I don't know. Okay, it's on. Super bunched up. Okay. Seems alright. Okay, well, that's pretty well on there. Um, doesn't feel too bad. Uh, so what we'll do now is we'll head out for a ride, we'll test it out, you've got to sort of set the inflation thing, we'll have a chat about the awesome ride coming up, and um, we also got to wash the bike, it's terribly dirty, and I don't want to be meeting uh, a bunch of awesome people with a dirty bike. Okay, first sit, and I know it's going to feel weird. Mm, feels pretty good actually. All right, let's go. So already I can feel that it's uh, a little bit too inflated, so I'm gonna have to let some of the air out of it. Now I'm trying to make this bike a bit more comfortable with this Airhawk seat. I've realized that it's gonna be propping me up just that little bit high, which is gonna put a little bit more pressure on my arms and wrists, which are normally the things that get pretty, uh, you know, pretty tired and whatever, so. I'll make sure that I can remove the seat if I need to. So on to where I'm taking you. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I just cannot wait. Now, if you've watched my stuff, you've probably either heard me say it or you know exactly who he is. See it with Simon. So he's made a huge trip up from Melbourne, which is basically the other side of the world. And uh, he's doing a few little meetups and rides and things. So 
I'm heading down to past Brisbane Way and we're going to go on this massively epic ride. So that ride for me alone just from here to Brisbane is going to be huge. And then to add in a ride, like a big four hour ride or whatever with the group, heading down into New South Wales, which is crazy awesome. Uh, you know, that's just going to add to the time. So it's going to be awesomely excited, but I'm a little bit worried about uh, my basic comfort levels. Maybe I just need to man up and, uh, and, and do it. The other thing I need to think about is if I'm going into New South Wales, do I need a passport? Eh. So the reason that I need to deflate this a bit is because you can see it's all squished up and it's super easy to um, adjust the inflation level on it. Just unzip this little bit here and you get yourself a little valve. And the basics of it is you want just enough air in there so that it's, um, you know, your bottom's just about to touch the seat. Ah, uh, yep, that's it. Oh, that's in the perfect position now. Ah, spot on. And you saw how easy it is to adjust if it's not right anyway, so it's all good. All right, so we're going to head back to the Jojo Moto compound now to give this dirty thing a wash. It is disgusting. And if I'm going to be meeting up with a bunch of moto vloggers and cool dudes, I want to get my bike looking, you know, at least half decent. So let's go back and give it a wash and we'll pack a few things ready to go. Thing, man it is disgusting it is so dirty we need to give this thing the dynamo treatment It's going to turn this sports bike into a touring bike. Awesome stuff. Uh, I'm just so excited about this ride. It's going to be massive. It's going to be meeting lots of new people, lots of cool moto vloggers that I've already met before. So it's just going to be the best ride. I'm, I'm just so excited. So don't forget to drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about uh, how cool the Jigs is looking now that it's all nice and clean. And uh, what you think about this big ride or how you think I'm going to go with it. I'd love to hear that in the comments, that's for sure. Don't forget to share this video if you liked it. Even if you didn't like it, it'll help us out. Um, yeah, that'll be great. Hit that subscribe button. It'll be around on your screen somewhere or a little bit later. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. So that's it. Um, the video will come out from the big ride quite soon, I'm sure. Uh, but if not, I'll see you tomorrow on a different video. I'm so excited, but so scared. This is going to be scary. It's a huge ride, man. I haven't done a big ride like this in years. And uh, I definitely haven't done it on a super sports bike, that's for sure. And I give myself plenty of time, take breaks and all the rest of it. This bike is looking sweet, though. So clean.